The president and the White House uh, want to cut out or reduce funding for testing in that, in that latest relief package. Do you support reducing or cutting out funding? Well, the testing, we had $25 billion in testing. About $10 billion of that went out to the states in our previous work on the previous legislation. About $78 million of that came to Arkansas, and it remains unspent because we're using the state uh, CARES Act money to pay for our testing and tracing program in Arkansas. And the uh, money that was in the House bill previously could be spent over 30 months. So I think we need to study very carefully how much more testing money is needed by the states in this next bill. And that's something, Katie, that I feel strongly about generally on this uh, next coronavirus bill. We need the facts. We need to know how we've spent the money in our states and what gaps uh, remain on uh, many, many topics. Uh, there is a, a lack of testing in a number of states right now, especially these hard-hit states, Florida, Arizona, Texas. It currently takes you more than three, four days to get a, a test result back here in New York. This money, do you think it, it, it might not be useful in, in those states right now? Well, Katie, here's the deal on that. In my view, and our whole delegation in Arkansas wrote Vice President Pence two weeks ago about this. There's a shortage of supply of the reagents to speed up the uh, testing results so that we're not waiting more than 48 hours for a test. You're right about that. We urge the vice president to use the Defense Production Act or other ways to increase production of those agents and get it out to our hospitals and our public health departments. So we need that done by the federal government. We need their leadership. I think that's a slightly bigger picture issue than just the money allocated for testing in the states. Uh, I think it's an issue, both are issues, but I hope we can yeah. get this reagent supply issue teed up sooner rather than later. That's an important nugget you just said there, Congressman, about, about the fact that you said you've urged um, the use of the Defense Production Act on that, because you're right. This, the answer about reagents is the answer that Katie and I get almost doesn't matter what side of the aisle someone's on. If they're a governor, right. they say that seems to be the issue. Let me ask you about another part of this bill, the so-called enhanced unemployment benefit. It seems as if there are more and more people who believe that it has been very helpful economically and that getting rid of it might actually be a, a tougher thing on the economy short term. And I know there's some talk about finding a middle ground here. Where are you on this issue? Chuck, I think we do need to try to find a middle ground that preserves unemployment benefits for those that are still suffering and not back to work, but also make sure that we balance that out with our individual local labor markets in our different states. So instead of a flat $600, it would be nice if it were variable based on the state's local labor market. I know this is something they're talking about in the Senate. I hope they can come up with a sensible proposal that will help those that are unemployed, but at the same time, give us an incentive to get back to work as well.